Good day everyone and welcome back to CleanCut EDC. Today we are talking about my all time one and done, right? The one knife that I would choose to keep if I need to sell my entire collection and I get to keep one knife, right? It's going to be this one. It's going to be the Picot Steel Gladius in M390 with carbon fiber and titanium. It has to be, right? This knife is too good. So it's not going to be the Kaiser Vita, the Elijah Aishan special. We will do a full review on this guy in the future. It's not going to be the Mini Creo from Cancept. We will do a full review on that guy also. We have done a full review on this one. And it came very close to being a one and done. But um, this is a fantastic knife. Also M390, also full titanium. Just a <laughs> tremendous, tremendous knife. Love the green and gold. And we are actually celebrating with some Boltong and Droevors today. This is dry Droevors, right? For our American friends, that's like dried sausage. And this is Boltong, which is like dried beef, uh, dried cured beef. So uh, that's like the South African food, right? And we are celebrating because the Springboks are playing their very first game in the Rugby World Cup today against Scotland. Yes, Scotland. And I actually, you know, I think we're going to take the, um, the win on that one. Um, but I do think that Duan van der Merwe will be giving us a hard time. I actually did go to school with Duan. And even back then, he was a tremendous force to be reckoned with. Um, fantastic rugby player playing for Scotland now. So I think the two South Africans, Van der Merwe and Stein, they are going to give us a tough time. But uh, the Springboks for the win, right? So let's celebrate together. Get your boltong ready. Get a cool drink or beer or whatever you want to drink. And um, let's, uh, let's enjoy this video before we go and watch the rugby. Awesome, guys. We're talking about the Pickle Steel Gladius. M390 blade steel, titanium frame, carbon fiber. This knife has it all going for it. It is a button lock. And for those who have been watching this channel, you definitely know that I love my button locks. We'll do, we are doing a full review. So let's just run through this knife real quick. From the blade to the scales. We have a spear tip, right? Spear point blade shape. Not really a pen style. You can argue that. But I think this is more a spear, um, spear point blade shape. Which is very nice because you do get that straight edge, but also a little bit of belly and then a very, very functional tip for piercing. So the piercing ability on this guy is off the charts. Um, any nitty gritty, you know, little work you want to do with the tip, you can surely do that. It's not going to be the strongest tip, right? It's not going to be like one cliff or a reverse tanto tip, but we do have a little bit of support behind this tip. We have a, a flat grind. It's not a full flat grind. It's actually more of a saber grind, but I haven't really noticed the resistance from this saber grind as compared to a flat grind it's done very very well very thin behind the edge very thin maybe you guys can just see that it is super super duper thin actually i want to do a match up here i haven't done this yet but i want to test it it's slicing ability as opposed to the delica now the delica is also almost brand new so you know they've done basically the same amount of work um so let's just see what it is like resistance wise right obviously that full flat grind just such a fantastic slicer the delica is one of the best slicers in the game let's see the um the gladius you can just hear that it's so effortless so smooth man oh wow not really any hold up i do feel a tiny tiny bit of more resistance when it comes to the gladius as opposed to the full flat grind but it is so so minor that, um, you know, I would rather enjoy the added strength from the saber grind um, than, uh, than have this a full flat grind, in my opinion. There's a lot uh, going for this blade shape, a lot going for this type of grind, and I just love it. I love the M390. It always appears as if it has this slight golden shimmer, right? Just a, just a hint of some gold. And I love it, man. It takes such a wonderful edge, such a wonderful blade steel, a premium blade steel, super steel, right? Fantastic corrosion resistance. It's a it's one of the trifecta steel. So the the crucible um, counterpart is 20 CV. So some people have told me in the past, now 20 CV is their favorite. They like it more than M390, but M390 is boilers 20 CV. So <laughs> it's basically the exact same steel. Um, it's just two different companies that make it, so they have two different names for it. But yeah, the heat treat on this guy has to be perfect. When it comes to M390, M390 is very very um influenceable is that even a word but it's highly influenced by its heat treats as most steels are but especially m390 the sweet spot's going to be around 
between 61 to 63. Uh, so 62 uh, Rockwell hotness is going to be what you want with M390. Yeah, um, the heat read on the Pickle Steel M390 is done really well. Uh, I do know that the Valkyrie has been tested over time. It's also known as the SX Stuk, right? There's an X Stuk, a make of the Valkyrie, and I think it is Beast Bladers or Beast Blades that have tested this M390, and it is 100% M390. It is the perfect Rockwell hardness. So that's fantastic. That's what you want. Now, we do have some very functional. A little thumb studs here so you can thumb deploy this knife you can reverse flick this knife there's no flipper so it does bring the profile down a little bit in your pocket which is fantastic it does give it a little bit of a more compact more contained look and uh, and design more gentleman style look to it so that's fantastic the thumb studs work very well definitely tremendous grip and i do like the bigger thumb studs because it does match very nicely this polished thumb studs with the pivot right the polish polished pivot so that's fantastic very very well done thumb studs over here definitely love that aspect to it uh, the overall design of the blade i think terrific looks really good and um, i love it some nice uh, sharpening choil here but also a functional finger choil so you get a fantastic grip on this knife you can really creep up on this knife with the jumping provided not super aggressive but definitely grippy you just land in the perfect spot very similar to actually a a Spyderco knife, right? With Spyderco, they force your hand into the very perfect spot. And you have the same effect here with the Gladius. And that's one of the many reasons why this will be my all-time one and done, right? Very, very nice knife. So, um, let's talk about just the deployment. The action is silky, silky smooth. It is really fantastic. It runs on ceramic ball bearings. So, you get a fantastic action out of this guy. It actually has dual stopping pins, which is not something you see every day. But what that does is it helps to reduce lock stick within the button lock. Um, so your, your blade isn't running against the button lock constantly when you open it, right? So it just protects the, the button lock a little bit, keeps it, um, everything nice and tight, very durable. Um, it's a very good design in that aspect. So uh, it has a, a stopping pin at the top and then also stopping pin when it's closed. So that's the terrific right there. Just love that, man. Yo, very, very, very nice. I love the backspacer also. Moving more towards the scales, we have this little cutout on the liners or the, the scales so that this backspacer can sit nice and tight in there. This thing won't move. Oh, so, so good. So, such a good job on the overall design. Just love the look of this, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. Carbon fiber, and they are actually sitting on the titanium scale. So it's mulled out and then... Um, you know laid with carbon fiber so that drops the weight down quite a bit we do yeah at the top have a solid piece of titanium which is nice for durability uh because they have i have uh, dropped the weight with the carbon fiber it wasn't necessary for them to mill out and, and skeletonize the the titanium the weight on this guy is actually really done very very well right so the balance is also just perfect sits where it needs to sit in place where it needs to be in place very comfortable ergonomics even if you go back here you do get a nice grip um, and even with these contours right that's usually a problem for some people it's like oh, every hand shape is not the same but the way this fills your hand it's just absolutely perfect even if my middle finger runs on this little tip here it's still not a hot spot i don't know how they've done that but it's just it sits so nicely so if i creep up and i want to squeeze both fingers in this section you know it's comfortable if i want to do it like this and run my middle finger on that tip I don't even feel it it's it's just not there right but it's there in the sense of providing you with grip keeping you from sliding that sort of thing that's fantastic because that's the one issue we do have with carbon fiber and with titanium or other metal scales is if it doesn't has, have these cutouts and mold out sections it doesn't provide us with a lot of grip but here we do have that and therefore we actually do have tremendous grip right fantastic oh such a good job on this knife lovely pocket clip good um you know stiffness right there love the bevel the design on the pocket clip matches the overall design very very well you can see this bevel running down right there's this bevel running down on the scales sort of split the scales in two sections and we have the exact same thing continuing on on this pocket clip it's terrific it's honestly a terrific design you can almost say that the pocket clip is a smaller version of the overall scales you can see with the cutout there and the cutouts here at the top it is done very well 
very well. Definitely very impressed with the pocket clip. Nice little lanyard tool here at the back. Don't think you will be needing that. But if you wanted to add a lanyard um, with a cool lanyard bead, you certainly have that option, right? Solid backspacer. Very, very nice. Oh, now the one thing that can be a problem sometimes for people is the whole button lock situation. I was at the Braille the other day. We were making a poiki. And the one guy told me, yeah, I like... I like button lock knives, but I feel scared, or at least I feel uncomfortable using them because it feels like I'm going to press in the button accidentally while using it and end up closing the blade on my fingers, right? But um, I, I want to tell you guys that that's not going to be the case here. Um, and I have actually tested it with the Akal also. So the way the design is done with both the Akal and the Gladius is you can see that cut out on the scale. So that creates a different level, right? Now your button needs to pass the level of the scale in order to release the blade. So if I go and I press, you guys can just see the blood coming, you know, moving here in my finger. I'm pressing hard. It's not going to close because I need to be deliberate by, by, you know, creating space, pressing that lock into the liner, pass this level, right? Um, so that it can close. So it's not going to close up on you just by accident. Even if you move your hand to a position where you can cut, you know, can pinch the knife and cut, on, you can pinch the knife on the button lock, right? It's still not going to close on you because you need to deli be deliberate about pressing it past the level of the overall scale. So then it will close, right? It's a fantastic design. Similar to, to the, the Gladius, I can pinch it, right? I'm pinching it to the point where blood is legit not even there and it still won't close. Because I need to be deliberate about pressing it into the the second level of the scales almost. Right. So then it goes. So by accident, I almost want to say you will you will basically never be able to do that. Even, you know, if your hand's going to be in the proper position for cutting and for using this knife, that's just not going to happen. You see the way it sits? It's just far away from that button lock. There's basically no risk there. If you're going to cut this way, this is any way where your fingers are going to land on these grippy bits. So that you can cut. But if in the event that you do end up at here at the top, right? It's still not going to just close on you. You still need to be deliberate. So that's fantastic right there. That's why I just, I don't have a problem with button locks at all. They are super reliable. And um, they're strong. They're effective. They're fidgety. I love them. That's why this is, is as high up in my overall favorites as can be, right? Fantastic. Love, love, love the carbon fiber scales. They are tremendously beautiful. Just look at that. Just look at that light shimmering, shifting on these scales. Oh, wonderful design, wonderful knife, right? Let's do a weight, um, a weight check. 100 grams, people, 99 grams. That's, that is exactly what you want, right? It's, um, and this is not a small knife, right? Let's compare it to some other knives. Uh, we have the Tenacious here. Spyderco Tenacious, you can see it is basically exactly the same. In length, we have a large honey badger. Here we go. It's a little bit like a centimeter smaller than the large honey badger. Let's go with the Delica. Whoopa. The Delica. You can see it's quite a lot bigger than the Delica. Uh, pickled Steel Ghost. Gotta do the Ghost. Here we go with the Ghost. It's a little bit bigger than the Ghost. So, you actually have a quite a big knife, right? And I think the Ghost is about 100 grams. So, that's very interesting, um, in a sense, because this is titanium, so it should actually be a little bit heavier. But the way they've, they've done it, it's just perfect, man. It's so, so, so well done. Such a fantastic knife, right there. Let's, um, let's just check the stock thickness, I do know, is 3.5, 3.5 millimeters of a M390. That is no joke, right? Tapers down very nicely towards the edge. That's why we have that fantastic cutting ability. Let's do some just quick measurements. Right, so we have an overall length of 20 centimeters. So absolutely perfect length for me. At least I like my knives between 21 and um, 19. So 20 is 100% perfect. The scales is going to be, so your handle is going to be around 19, between 19 and, um, not 19, between 11 and 12 centimeters. And the blade length is going to be around, let's say, 8, eight centimeters. A uh, little bit more, but your cutting edge will be around 8 centimeters. So that's a fantastic length on the, on the knife overall. Good design, good materials, good action, good pocket clip. Love the pocket clip. 
a good deployment, very re reliable, very strong, good materials. Yes, this knife has everything going for it, guys. Take a look at the Pickled Steel Gladius. I think they are going to be on the website. If they are not, the links are in the description. Make contact with Pickled Steel. This is not a knife you want to miss, right? This is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic knife. Have a, have a great day, guys. Have a knife day. And remember that no knife, no knife means no life. Let's go, Boca!